Cooking and eating is an important part of the process. Mm. A lot of veggies. Day number six in the White Sands, and we're talking about black cover. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays. The black cover. This is a milky white tube, and I got this question lately by someone, someone who's looking at the small details and he noticed that most of my tubes that I'm using these days are with the black cover. I've been working a lot in 360 recently, uh, I had to, to do that. This is, uh, I, got, I don't have even the choice, like if I want to be able to disappear, I need to use the black cover. I start to get really used to the black cover because it helps me to see what's in front of me. That's super obvious, but it took me a long time just to realize that, oh, wow, that's, that's a bonus. <laughs> so I'm pointing the bright part at the camera. The black is facing me so that I don't have light on me. So you can clearly see the difference here. There are two reasons why I use the black cover. First one is to help me to get invisible on the pictures as there is no light pointing towards me. Second reason is about visibility. With the black cover, I am not blinded by my own light and I see so much better what's in front of me. But does this mean that the black cover is always the way to go? Absolutely not. A tube without the black cover is going to give you a purely uniform light without having to think about the angle. In other words, by using a black cover, you always have to make sure the bright side is towards the camera to avoid the light to fade out. One other thing is about the impact that the tube creates on the ground. With the black cover, you block a lot of light from hitting the ground and yes, that makes a huge difference. now how to to make the black cover we, we sell as the, the black cover as an option on the store this is a super clean uh, vinyl but um, I really encourage you to do it on your own on your side by using gaffer tape masking tape I think it's the same uh, because this one is opaque the electric tape is uh, not as good we tried everything <laughs> for you I hope you appreciate that Okay, it's nearly time for light painting. Once in a while you get hit by luck. That pure moment of chance you only experience because you were at the right place, at the right moment. Tonight was super cloudy and the full moon was really not something we had in mind at that point. We did our framing using these two random dunes with the intention of capturing those dramatic clouds in the background. And wow, without even planning for it, the moon appeared at the perfect place in our framing. of it. 
We plan most of our shots with the moon, the sun, or the Milky Way. But there are also these special moments that bump into our lives once in a while, sparkling more excitement about this whole story that we're living. <laughs> <laughs>